Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick on the ZX Spectrum 48K. It's a bit time for a bit of sports action here. It's Sports Hero, published by Melbourne House in 1984, to coincide, I presume, with the Los Angeles uh, Olympics. Now, this game hasn't got too many events on it. It's uh, just 100 metres, 110 metres hurdles, uh, long jump and pole vaults that set some keys here. We'll be doing on keys. Now the idea is you start off as a street runner and then progress through um, the degrees to the Olympic team. It gets gradually harder to um, um, qualify. Right, okay, let's get this thing going. Register your name. I think I might have pressed the wrong button here. So 1984, uh, bear in mind this came out the same year as Ocean's uh, Daily Top Capital, Capitals had 10 events. Uh, the graphics look okay. Let's see how this thing goes. Not too bad. I think that's my um, speed on the left. Get ready to hit those keys. Go! Right, okay. Da -da 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 -da. 10 meters. Uh, it's not too bad. The running action is a bit weird. Oh, uh, look at him go! He's going like some crazy fool. If you had this back in the day, let me know. 11.09. We got 16 seconds to qualify. So, yeah. so, as you go up the leagues or the difficulty levels, you have to do a, a faster time. Uh, there's no sound in this for some reason. Sports Hero 84. Um, yeah, it's a bit soulless at the moment, and we go straight into 110 metres hurdles, so no introduction like Daily Thomas and Capital with the music at the start, so it's lacking a bit there. Hurdles, I tend to struggle. I don't know why the track is a light cyan. They should have done red, but anyway, maybe that changes through the leagues. Go! Oh my god, what are we jumping over here? Barrels? Oops, I've tripped over. Oh my goodness, uh, the timing on this... <laughs> timing is a bit weird. Now, if you had this game back in the day, let me know. I don't know how many lives you've got. If you don't do it, you might be out straight away. Okay, so it's okay, but it's not as good as Daily Thomas and Decathlon at the moment. If a friend had Daily Thomas and Decathlon, you'd be jealous of them, but it's doing stuff. It seems to be well programmed. It's just a little bit flat at the moment, and I, I didn't qualify. 25 seconds, the 110 meters hurdles. That's quite slow. I think Daily Thomas could do that, that toe in a caravan. Are we out? Oh no, we've got three attempts. Okay, God dear, this is going to be a bit painful. Now, let's try and jump over stuff. That bloke's about to shoot his gun, but you won't hear it. It's one of those silent guns for starting silent races. Looks like he's wearing a trilby, so points to that. On your mark, set, go. In a, go, 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 go. Right, okay. The speedo is on the left, as I say, not across the bottom, so it's gone in its own direction there. Um, yeah. So it would Melbourne House, it would have got absolutely trounced in the ratings, I presume, from Daily Thomas Decathlon. It's a shame, because it's okay, but when you see Daily Thomas Decathlon, uh, then this isn't very good. It's better than Track and Field, it's come out four years later, um, um, well, as a part of a compilation thing, by also by Ocean, so they went a bit backwards then. 1988 was the Seoul Olympics, South Korea. I uh, don't know why this has only got four events, seems like a little bit lazy, but anyway. I mean, that's not a Decathlon, it's not anything, is it? Good, right. It's all about getting your fastest time and qualifying for the Olympics team, but at the moment we're in some sort of like back alley in the streets. We'll have to do the Olympic mode near the end of the review if I get that far. Well, I might not even qualify that 110 meter hurdles, but I would like to see all the events. I haven't got a code or anything to jump to the other ones. Right, come on. It, and it, this, the frame rate is quite good, I would say that about it. And I like the way the time is going up with all those little, little white dots there. But it needs, a, needs, the, needs the music. Yeah, it's got no soul, man. James Brown would have said, you need more soul if you want to be in here. Not as good as Hypersports either, which was the, uh, well, the sequel track of the really in the arcades. Right, so I'm out, am I? Oh no, I've got a chance to do long jump. Now I presume you have to take off at 45 degrees like track and field and Daily Thomas Decathlon. So here we go, get ready, there, there it is. Press the button, 34 degrees, is that enough? No, 6.25. Oh, he hasn't even got the animation with a guy with a measuring tape. Yeah, this is this is quite... Um, it's good in some points, a bit lacklustre in other areas. It hasn't got that final uh, bit of finish to the thing. I've just taken off too early. Six... Oh, I've done it now. Six metres 50. We needed 6.25. We qualified. God knows how the pole vault's going to work. I have to keep mentioning Daily Thomas Decathlon, but the mechanics in uh, the pole vault, let's get 45 degree, 40 degrees, were, were quite good. I like the shadow underneath him, so that's a positive. He is very see-through, but you can let that go for the ZX Spectrum. That's probably understand. Right, here we go. With his pole, go. Right, oh God, good luck, big nose. Right, I've got to press fire button, have I? and then let it go at the right point. Oh, uh, and that's the wrong point. That's going to hurt. 
Oof, that hurt. And he has a bit of a swear to himself. Oh dear, he's going to get banned from the place with swearing all the time. Second attempt. Well, I've seen all four events already, haven't we? So, you know, would I have persevered with this back as, back as a kid? Well, not really. Well, if I didn't have anything else, any sports, other things I might have done. But it, it's just thoroughly outclassed. Uh, it's good to see there's a bit of retro history. So track that one down if you like these sort of games. You might not have heard of this one. It's, uh, you know, it, it's got dwarfed by greater games. Sports Hero. Yes. Not Guitar Hero, it's Sports Hero. He hasn't got a guitar in this one, unless that's a secret thing. Sports Over, press any key. Well, so yeah, so you've got Street Runner, University Blues, and the Olympic Team. You can redefine your keys, which is pretty helpful. Right, let's see if I'm registering a name this time. There we go, Nick, that's me. I'm, so I've had my practice, let's do this. But I think my goals would have been pretty much always the same. 100 metres qualifying, 110 metre hurdles never qualifying, long jump qualifying, and then not being able to fathom out the pole ball. But it looks like you can go to the next event regardless, even if you don't qualify. So that is good. I mean, joystick's probably a bit better, but um, I don't really want to... Um, oh, I heard the gunshot then. I don't really want to um, break my... A joystick on a game like this. He's going like a nincompoop. Here he goes. 11.12. Well, that's good, isn't it? The record's 11.09, so they're quite consistent there as he does his celebration. But yeah, influenced by track and field as they all were from the arcades, I would say. See if I can hear the gunshot this time. Sometimes I can hear it, sometimes I can't. That might be just me going a little bit deaf. Keep your ears out. Has he got ammo? Listen. Come on. No, it didn't sound that time. Oh, well, there we go. Maybe it'll come across on the recording, but I, I certainly couldn't hear it. Go! Oh, guys, his nose hit the track. Whenever your nose hits the tarmac, or the tartan, whatever it's called, it's going to slow you down. I, I don't think I'll ever get the time in for that. 20 seconds. Ugh. Oh no, I don't know who this guy is, he hasn't got a name. Um, so it's hard to get attached to the guy where you don't know who the hell he is. Who is he? I don't know. If you know, comment in the comment section below. Right, so look at that background. We're at someone called Brixton Alley, it looks like there. Wonder if, I wonder if he's related to Kirsty Alley. Could be. Was she in Cheers? I don't know. Right, go. Let's go. Come on, qualify, big nose. See if I can do it at least once. Now it's got my name attached to it. Over that one over that one. It's very hard to judge the... Uh, I think you have to jump as soon as you're on it. I've not the bin over. Are there bins, are they? I'm jumping over dustbins here. Who's funding this place? I want to be in the Olympic team. I'm not going to do it jumping over dustbins, or trash cans, if you will. 110 metre dip. Oh, I can't I can't break 20 seconds, can I? 20.39. Was that 3.4? I'm getting gradually slower. It's like I'm running through treacle with a blindfold on, and that's not good qualifying times. Right, last chance. 17 seconds to qualify. In real life, that'd be pretty easy. Could I do that? I'm not sure, jumping over hurdles. I'd probably go a bit high. I could probably do 17 seconds in 100 uh, metres, but take the hurdles away and it's easier. Right, come on. It looks a bit like um, Einstein from school days, grown up. So perhaps that's him. Go, Einstein. I cannot tell a lie. Someone's put a load of dustbins in the way of my, of my qualifying here. Right, go, Einstein, go. I'd rather play school days than this. Maybe it's sports day. That'd be a better game. Einstein's sports day. Let's call that uh, the sequel to school days. Einstein's sports day. That'd be good. Write that. Boof. I don't think there's any um, games based around sports day. I think they would have been a big hit. Uh, there'd been a, quite a lot of room for humour in there. They could still do it. All the power of sports day. They asked the class, who's going to run the 1500 metres? Not me. Who's going to do shot put? Oh God, not me. I, actually, I did do the 800 metres. I didn't want to do any throwing events though. Oops, I've, I've jumped a bit early there. Yeah, that was that. That would have been good at Sports Day. That would have been a good, a good old laugh. Right, 6.35. Let's hit those keys. Hopefully you can't hear the keys. I'll edit them out with my clever editing uh, system. Right. I've qualified again. 6.67. I think at school I could barely jump four metres, which translated as possibly the worst in the class. That was rubbish. I, I just didn't have any spring. I did have no spring at all. Boing. Not like this fella. As he jumps into the pit, and our long jump pit always seems to be full up of cat poo. Uh, no, one, no one likes having a long run up and jumping into cat poo, so probably that's why I didn't jump very far. Right, let's get this down now. Can I get the knack of this? Uh, no. Oh, I never get this. I don't, I don't want to keep coming back and practicing it either. 
Um, there's no there's no enticement here for me to want to go back. Put a bit of groovy music in, it might have done it. Go Einstein, go. I cannot tell a lie, I need the hospital. Oh, he might hit the crash mat this time, that's lucky. And he sunk, maybe it's a bowl of custard. It's not a crash mat, it's a bowl of custard, because he sinks into it by about a foot. Must be quite thick custard. It's school dinner custard. Suddenly the whole game is making sense, oh dearie me. And I've, I've just speared that. What's happening now? Are we st oh god, now he's, he's, he's speared himself as well. Well there we go. We've probably seen enough of the game now, but I'm quite interested to see what the Olympic mode does. Probably exactly the same, we won't do all the events. Let's get down to uh, the Olympics team. We've got out of street running, we've got out of university, now it's time for the Olympics. And uh, what's that going to give us? Register your name. Right, okay. N-I-C-K. It's just going to give us a different background, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. We've got a crowd there. Are they going to make any noise now? Make some noise. Hi, Mum, they say. Right, please, let's have some noise. Looks like the same experience to me. The qualifying is less, 11.37. Will we hear the gun? Come on. Oh, we heard it that time. He's got. A pr sometimes he loads the gun. Sometimes he doesn't. Uh, so that's just a bit of luck. Running again like a nincompoop. If you're running like a nincompoop, comment below. He's got three legs sometimes. Ten point zero five. Not messing about here. So I've qualified. Right. We'll have one go at the hurdles, and then we'll get out of here because I think we've seen enough. I think you've seen. I think like me, you'll probably think Danny Thomas and Decathlon by Ocean in the same year is probably the better bet. This one is okay, but it, it lacks final panache, final finish, and it just it's not as stylish. It's not bad, but uh, it's a bit short as well. Four events, you're going to get there first time. I think you're going to probably use up all the hur proper hurdles this time. You're probably going to use up all the gameplay. Uh, nothing else to discover here. Um, you know, just one side the tape. Four events, could have put a few more in perhaps. Doesn't seem quite finished in that regard. Four events, not quite enough. The, uh, the kids wanted more then. Right, okay. And 22.64. Uh, is that a world record? I don't think it is. Or 69, I can't make that out. It's not a world record, Well, Hell's bells, hell's teeth, hell's high water, and lots of other things. Hell's angels, um, um, hell's sinky. Okay, we will leave that there. Hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Sports Hero on the ZX Spectrum 48K, published by Melbourne House in 1984, the same year as the Los Angeles Olympics in the USA. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.